Hey guys, this is Dabs Nishmuel. Have you ever imagined being able to achieve something like this, especially when you hover your cursor over an image, then it slides the others to the left or right, and then you're able to get a full view and even able to click on it so it takes you or leads you somewhere. So I'm going to show you how you can go ahead to achieve something like this in WYSIWYG Web Builder. So let me just go ahead and then launch my application here. So in the application, there is a very simple tool that you can use to achieve this. That is the image accordion tool. So you click on it and then you draw in the canvas. Now, because it is an image related to once you draw on the canvas, it is going to ask you for um, where you have your images or the images that you intend to use. So you go ahead to select them. So in my case, I have my images somewhere in my download section. So let me just locate my downloads and then select the images I want to use. So I'm going to go ahead to select this, this and one of these, and then I'll go ahead to click on open to open that. Now it doesn't give you a preview of all the images you selected, which is fine. But once you go ahead to preview it here, you notice you get your images. And one thing also to notice that the size you put over here is basically what is going to show on your page. So if you want something bigger, you might want to consider making a little bit bigger. Now, after selecting the images and having your size of the two specified, you can go ahead to double click on it. So once you double click on it, the general part is basically where you have the images that you are going to use. So you can select more images if you want. And you have um, other options at the bottom as well. So when you come to options, you can specify the type or the way the tool should behave. By default, as we selected image accordion, it is going to behave in the accordion, way, which was what we saw earlier. But if you go ahead to change this, to anything different over here, it is basically going to take that effect. So since we are interested in the accordion effect, we are going to leave it on that. Now you can specify the full width, um, that is if you want to have any full width based on the images that you are using or not. So you can specify that here, but if you are not going as according to this, you can just leave this as it is. Now one thing to notice that for every image over here can also serve as a link. So in case you want to link any of these images to a specific site, page or any item, you can simply double click on it, come to the properties of the image and be able to link it wherever you want to link it. So that's one thing you need to know. And then also you can also end up styling the enter to over here. So you can add a border. You can add colors or change the color of the border. You can also change the color of text. That is if you're adding any text to it as well. And you can also include a box shadow and then you can also add an animation to it. So basically that is how to go about achieving something like um, this. In Wizard Web Builder version 17, it's quite easy to go about. So I would want you to give it a shot or try it out and let me know your thoughts about it, how easy it was for you to achieve something like this in your project. So that would basically be about it for this tutorial. So in case you are new to this channel, kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime there's a new video, you get to see it. So once again, my name is Dabson Ishmael. I'll see you in the next one.